I do wonder how much more common these rare drop table drops are with the Ring of Wealth. Um, I think that's my second Dragon Spear. Interesting to see. Well, that is level 99 Fletching for a very cool 250 points. I may go for 25 mil XP by the end of the league, depending on how much money I have after all the clue scrolls and stuff like that, but nice to knock that one out of the way. Just got another 50 points for completing 200 farming contracts. The next points I can get for this would be at 300. I don't really think that's feasible in the time I've got left, so probably going to stop doing contracts now. I'm pretty close to 50 mil farming XP. Then after that, I'll have all of the herbs I need for 99 herb lore. So I'll probably just do trees and fruit trees um, for the pet chance and possibly continue doing Hespori as well. But going to slow down on the farming after that, certainly. And that is 99 herb lore for another 250 points. Very pleased indeed to have uh, managed to get that one. And that is 80 prayer for another 100 points. I'm not going to go any further with this skill because I really don't think getting 99 is feasible in the time that I've got left in the league. I do have about 80 in Soul Abyssal Demon Heads in the bank, which I don't currently have the magic level to use. Um, so other than having a higher prayer level for any bossing, which I'm not really going to be doing that much of, uh, not really too much point training this skill any further. Hey, there we go, that is 50 million farming XP for 500 points. I'll continue doing the trees and fruit trees for a while, I think just on the off chance that I get the pet, but that's what I was aiming for, and it's nice to see these uh, long XP milestones finally starting to pay off. All right, well, that is 500 Lizardman Shaman kills. I'm done here now, picking up another Talisman on the last kill. I think I got seven of those overall, which is really lucky. I uh, filled up my main talisman so that's got a thousand charges and 250 extra teleports on top of that so that should sort me out for the clue scrolls and what I need to do now is go and get my mystic row bottom from the hydras uh, pick up the easy medium clues and also finish up the hard diary so that I have unlimited teleports to the Karend woodland for recharging my memoirs all right that is the hard diary done so I'm going to use this xp lamp on agility and let's see how far we are away from 80 only 50k not too bad another 100 points for finishing the diary as well and there is a deconstruction as well i feel like with the relics i have chosen you know hardcore harvester for the three times logs that i get from wood cutting i have the artisan for double xp in construction and then xerix wisdom i really should be going for 99 but it just really will depend on whether i have time for it so we'll see so I've put together 27 Shazian supply sets. I think this will get me to level 80 smithing. I'm not 100% sure, but there's only one way to find out. And it did on the dot, 68 mining as well. Very nice. I think I'm gonna get 68 to 80 mining at the blast mine, and that should get me a decent set of points as well. I think there are a couple of tasks to unlock there. Got myself up to 75 mining and I've now used up all of the rest of my dynamite. Can we get from 75 to 80 in one sitting? Not quite. 85k to go. That won't take too long. I'll just go and power mine, I think. There is 75 hunter and 2000 total level as well. Really hoping I can get the golden tench on my way to 80 hunter. Oh, that is exactly what I wanted. This is basically a free 750 points because you get 500 for wielding it and then I can trade these in for 300 pearls and I'll be able to buy the angler's outfit, which is another 250. So it seems equipping the angler outfit is actually only 100, but still can't complain with that. It's really nice to get that on the way to 80 hunter. And there we go, that is hunted done. So just two skills left to get up to 80 being runecrafting and woodcutting. And I don't think those will take too long, thankfully. There we go, that is 77 runecrafting. So I'm done with the library for the Twisted League, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna go and test out some blood runecrafting. Interested to see if it's any quicker than here, especially with the uh, three times uh, blocks that you get with Hardcore Harvester. And there we go, that did not take long at all. So just wood cutting left to go for all base 80s. 
There we go, 80 wood cutting and all stats, uh, at least 80 across the board. I do now really need to work on the clue scrolls. I'm gonna go and pick up my easies and mediums. I'm gonna start with 250 of those rather than going straight to 500, um, just cause that'll take less time. And maybe towards the end of the league, I'll pick up another 250 for both of those. Okay, so these are the clues I have done so far. This will take me up to 250 easies and mediums. I still need to do a further 350 odd hard clues and another 140 elites, but figured I would uh, save my sanity and just take a break to open some. So start with the easies, work my way through, and if I get anything good, I will uh, obviously record it. Ooh! That's pretty good, the spike manacles, that's going to be my best in slot melee boots, not that I'm planning to do much more uh, melee combat, so that's pretty good. Hey, wizard boots as well, so I've now got range boots, wizard boots, the manacles, just need the devout boots, and I've already got actually two pairs of the climbing boots G. There we go, that is my second pair of manacles as well. Oh, no way. Noted potions. I can never remember exactly how rare this is, but it's definitely on the mega rare drop table. No way! Another piece of gilded. That's my second one in the league so far. I've now got the gilded plate skirt and the square shield as well. Ooh, picking up my first mimic. Hopefully won't have too much trouble doing this. Hoping I might be able to get up to 25 done overall in the league. That is dependent on me doing an awful lot of masters though, I have to say. Alright, first Mimic done. What did we get? Nothing much. Ooh, Ranger's Tunic, that's pretty rare. Nearly worth 7 mil. Frammy Kilt, is that rare? It's worth a fair bit. Alright, I picked up the rest of the Elite Clues that I needed, so I'm going to open these, do any Mimics, and hopefully get plenty of Master Clues because they are next on the list. I'm hoping to get 100 Master Clues done overall. Um, I probably need to trade in the rest of these Elites, um, but I'm hoping I won't need to get too many more after that. Alright, well this is the final Elite Clue, number 250, for a very nice 250 points, and I've also realised in opening all of these elite clues including the teak and mahogany logs that I've got banked this is actually going to be enough for 99 construction so if I've got time to do that it's another 250 points but uh yeah up to 80 master clues banked so I'm going to turn 20 of these elites into masters and hopefully knock out 100 of these fairly easily I've been using my afk time at sand crabs and I'm just about to hit 99 defense I think I should be able to get 99 attack as well though I don't think I'm going to have enough time AFK to get 99 strength which is why I've not been training on controlled. I had hoped that I might be able to hit 25 mil hit points XP. I certainly won't be able to get it from getting 99 attack but maybe if I have some extra time left over at the end of the league we'll see. Um, but otherwise all my active time when I'm actually playing and not AFKing is going to be spent on the clues. Um, just this is a nice way to get a, a, a few easy extra points really. Oh my goodness, um, another piece of Gilded, the full helm. That is ridiculous, I just can't believe all these mega rare drops. Bloody hell, another bit of Gilded. What is going on? I'm going to have a full set of this by the end of the league at this rate. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. One for the glove slot as well. Unbelievable. Alright, well this is 99 attack for another 250 points. That's going to be it for the melee training, I think. Coming in with 25 million fletching XP. I just about had enough logs in the bank to be able to do this. I think with a bit more forward planning earlier on in the league, I perhaps could have gone for 50 million but i um, happy enough to get that for the 250 extra points. Just finishing off my hard clues at the moment, and I'm hoping I'll then have enough time to get 99 construction, do another 250 easy clues, and get 99 cooking as well. It's going to be very tight. All right, there we go. That is 250 hard clues done. That's all of the hards for the league. Uh, nothing of note from those. I got an extra Robin Hood hat, but apart from that, nothing too special. So we'll move on to the next task. 
All right, that is 99 construction, another 250 points. Time to go and do another 250 easy clues. All right, this is the very last clue scroll for the Twisted League. 500 easies completed. So 250 points. I now have to try and do 99 cooking, which I'm not even sure I've got time to do. And that's only another 250 points, which will take me to 20,350. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough, honestly. I uh, might need to get another 100, 150 points after that if I can. It's, yeah, it's looking less and less likely that I'm going to make the Dragon Cup. All right, so there were way too many people doing the mess or cooking for it to be feasible for me to go for 99. So I'm just scrabbling around to try and do whatever I can for other points. Uh, that's one Hydra kill for 50. With how slow these are, I don't think going for the milestones is going to be a good idea, but maybe I'll come back to it. Um, yeah, I, I'm not very confident I'm going to be able to get Dragon Cup now, to be honest. 50 points for opening 10 grubby chests. I wasn't exactly sure how many I'd done. I'm going to aim for 25 Seracnus kill count as well, which will give me another 50 points. And then after that, maybe do some thieving for the artifacts. I'm not too sure how quick it is to get those. Might give that a go. Otherwise, the one more thing I might try is obtaining the Temple Key. Um, if I just killed the baby red dragons I could maybe get the 200 bones I need for that uh, just depends how much time I've got really there we go that is 25 Seracnus kills there we go that is the temple key for another 50 points well we had a good run but as you can see I didn't quite manage to sneak into the dragon tier in the end I finished on 20,310 points and would have needed another 500 or so points to get me into the dragon rank ultimately the threshold was just rising too fast against the amount of points I could gain in the last couple of weeks that being said I have had a great time playing the twisted league and I hope the videos have been enjoyable to watch too for it being the first league in OSRS, I thought Jagex did a great job and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in the next one whenever that happens to be. Looking back over my strategy, I'm pretty pleased with how everything panned out. I think if there was one thing that possibly held me back, it was that dry streak at Abyssal Demons as I would have uh, been able to move on to other tasks a lot sooner if I would have gotten that whip on rate, but that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, it's definitely been ages since I put out uh, a proper Iron Man progress video and I can't say for sure when the next one will be, but I hope you'll keep an eye out for it. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, take care.